Bill, I simply don't understand you. Purchasing the estate directly next to ours for a family you don't even know? What reason can you have for such an action? I have 25 million reasons, Margaret. They're all deposited in my bank. Their account elevates my bank to third position in capital assets in this state. Money is money, Milburn. You can say that again. But position, breeding, that is what is important. We don't want riffraff living under our very noses. The Clampets are my kind of people, Margaret. Loaded. And besides, John Brewster sent them to me. Oh, what does he know about society? He's in oil. So apparently are the Clampets, up to their clavicles. Even so, rushing me here from a sick bed. Margaret, you're as healthy as I am. Neither you nor the doctors understand how I suffer from my migraine headaches. Well, I shall greet them, Milburn, but we will not mingle with them socially till I have a genealogical check run on them. I think I hear a car. Well, if it is the Clampus, they have singularly poor taste. With their millions, they are riding around in last year's Chevrolet. Oh, that's Miss Hathaway. What? Hold on, Capitan. Oh, Mrs. Drysdale, the captain's lady, and how are we this fine day? I don't know how we are, but I am upset. With your qualifications as a secretary, you should have found these people a home somewhere far from mine. I fear the Clampets will be, how shall I say, nouveau riche. Well, they're so riche, the nouveau part hardly matters. Were you able to find a school for the children? Mission accomplished. I got Mrs. Pennyweather at the Pennyweather Academy. But that was my school. It's the most exclusive in the area. They won't take oily mountain children. They did when I mentioned a donation to their new library. They just built a library. I subscribed myself. Well, it seems that they spent all the money on the building. They need some more for the books. Mrs. Pennyweather will be over before the afternoon is out to put a cultured bite on them. What is that incredible noise? Looks like an old truck. I would venture to say a garbage collector. Well, they must have the wrong address. There isn't any garbage here. The Clampets haven't arrived yet. I hope. They seem to be stopping. Milburn, tell them to go away. They look like gypsies, hippies. Howdy, I'm Jay Clampett. Clampets? Oh. Mother-in-law, Granny Moses, and my daughter, Ellie May. Uh, we're the Drysdales, and that's Miss Hathaway. Milburn. Milburn, I'm about to have a migraine. Quick, get some boiling water. No, no, I'm going home. I must be alone. You're right. That's the way I had all my children. All alone and out, flown an hour later. <laughs> my wife's not having a baby. Well, by the look of her, it'll be pretty soon. <laughs> Milburn, will you escape me home? Margaret, I think we should stay. I'm going. No, we should stay. I'm Hi, Uncle Jim. Hi, Uncle Jim, that fox is going to bite that lady. Thinks you can grow corn inside. 